Here we have another very very interesting question to find the domain and range and our function real function is f of x equals to under root 9 minus x square. It's a real function right so it's defined for the real numbers. Uh, let me write it first f of x equals to 9 minus x square. Okay so uh, you know whenever uh, we are talking about functions then always think like you know like a machine okay. Uh, this is how I actually had learned. I'm just trying to tell you how I learned. Uh, so this is your input section and the thing that you're going to input will be the element of domain keep in mind and the thing that is going to be output you know input is element of domain and the output will be range that's it. So now if this is defined uh, as a real function so uh, the what are the possible real number that we can put inside this you just first tell me. Hmm. Can I put here 4? If I'll, if I'll input 4 here, what will happen? 9 minus 4 squared, that is 16. 9 minus 16, oh, 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 minus 7 inside the root minus 7. That's not possible. So any number which is greater than 3, you know, here if you see, if x, if x is greater than 3, that's not possible. That's not possible. So here the possible numbers are only if x is less than or equals to 3. Okay, first, let me first discuss about this. If less than or equals to 3 till where I don't know first I'm just going to input here so any number which is equals to 3 if I'm going to put let's say if I'm going to put here 3 then I'll get 9 minus 3 square that's 0 okay and if I'm going to put 2 I'll get some result if I'm going to put 1 I'll get some result if I'm going to put here 0 I'll get some result if I'm going to put here minus 1 then also it's possible minus 2 is also possible minus 3 is also possible because uh, if I'm putting f as a negative 3 then it will be like 9 minus a negative 3 square right and everybody know negative 3 square is 9 and you're gonna get 0 so it should be always and always less than 3 or equals to 3 but one more restriction we have it should be greater than minus 3 you can put here negative 4 you know I mean to say if you're going to put let's say uh, minus uh, negative uh, 5 for a while all right so that time 9 minus negative 5 square and that's going to be 9 minus uh, 25 and that's negative 16 and in my life I haven't ever seen negative number inside the square root for real numbers I have seen for the complex number anyways so uh, this is not possible inside the root you can get negative number so that's why our we have a restriction for for choosing x you know so our real number should be between minus 3 to 3 so whatever we can input that's the elements of domain so from here I can say that our domain is equals to x such that x is greater than or equals to negative 3 and less than or equals to 3 uh, where x is from real numbers all right so this is our domain and what will be the output now that's the very interesting thing output I mean to say range so whatever you're going to put all right when you're going to put a uh, negative 3 what you got when you put negative 3 I put somewhere negative 3 then I got 0 all right so this is our one range and uh, what will happen if I'll put uh, 0 itself hmm? if I'll put 0 itself then I'll get 9 minus 0 uh, inside the root that's 9 inside the root that's 3 so the maximum possible number the greatest number that I will get is and what will happen if I'll put here 1 so if I'll put here 1 it's going to be 9 minus 1 square that is uh, root 8 that is 2 root 2 right and you know whether you're putting negative numbers or you're putting positive numbers all right any numbers you're putting between uh, uh, this range you know let's say this is 0 1 2 and this is 3 negative 1 negative 2 and negative 3 so any number you're going to put in this reason from this reason whatever you put always your output will be between uh, 0 to 3 right because when you're putting here as a 0 then your maximum number you're going to get is uh, 9 inside the root so that's why the greatest number you're going to get is 3 and when you're putting the greatest number inside this like 3 the greatest possible plus 3 then you're going to get smallest value that is 0 and if you even put negative you'll get 0 alright so from 0 to 3 so your uh, range will be from 0 to 3 alright uh, better I will put range now like this like this 0 and 3 including 0 and 3 all right keep in mind that